and welcome back to another episode of Let's Make a Mini CTM. As always, Rock here. And so, we got a few suggestions, or not a few suggestions, but a few submissions last time uh, in, for some pirate ships from a few of the lovely subscribers of, a, like, small or even large uh, suggestions for the pirate ship and uh, aesthetics that people thought would look pretty cool. Uh, so we got three submissions, um, one from NB Trainer, one from Crows, and one from the Sarcasm Lord. Um, so we'll be going through a quick fly through of each of their submissions, taking a look at what they suggested, and uh, then we'll head over to the actual world. We're in a single player version of the world right now, just to have all of them. And we'll head over to our multiplayer version of the world, which is our bucket server version, and I uh, will take a look at the, um, the current state of the ship, uh, in which I uh, included some of the suggestions from each of the the uh, submissions. So let's go through and take a look at the ships. Uh, the first one was by NB Trainer, um, suggesting some stairs such as this, um, a cool little uh, steering wheel, which I actually liked a lot. Uh, I think it had a toe at the end of it, which is a good addition. Uh, we had some trap doors used as open windows. Um, there was a trim to the ship, which I did like the trim. Um, I haven't incorporated a trim yet, um, but I do like the idea of having a trim. Uh, what else had been done? Uh, MB also went ahead and added the captain's room, adding some small aesthetics to it and they went ahead as well to add a little um uh what's it called i know what it's called i can't think of it now crow's nest they added a crow's nest with a ladder up to it um as well as some staircases with entrance ways to the different floors definitely some cool additions and I did snag a few pieces of this and add to our main ship. Uh, next, we have Corroza's suggestions, uh, which we come over here and we have ropes. I believe they're ropes or we'll go with ropes. I think they're supposed to be ropes, if I remember from reading his description, that lead between the different masts. Uh, to be more realistic, we have these staircases that lead to the different levels, um, which is slightly different than these types of staircases. Uh, also had and added these little frames to the entranceways. Uh, did it do anything else on the... Oh, yes, the front of the ship. Crows went ahead and also um, adjusted the, uh, as you can see right here, the front mast, uh, not front mast, front sails thing, and he adjusted the, uh, the, bow, the, bow, of the bow of the ship. And then <laughs> the last one was the Sarcasm Lord, which had a lot of changes to the ship. Uh, the ship in all being bigger than it was uh, before. Um, he added color to the mast, which I really liked. Uh, he added uh, trim to the ship, much like uh, in a similar fashion that MB Trainer did, um, but being a bit different. Um, he added color to the ship uh, by using these planks instead of the oak planks and he did a whole bunch of crazy stuff as well as changing the arch of that so there's a lot of really cool things that were changed on the ship um and even looking at the back that looks really cool uh i definitely want to do something similar to this um if not snag the design in general uh, i'm not sure what colors i want to use or what blocks i want to use for the trim um, that's definitely something we'll have to keep in mind and look into. But for now, um, knowing that we something like this might be uh, something we'll do and or maybe have uh, just trim up and down the uh, the kind of a staircasey underside. Uh, there's definitely ideas to keep in mind. Uh, but let's jump over to our map real quick and take a look at the current state of our pirate ship. And uh, we'll go from there. And yeah, it looks like he did a very similar, very similar uh, pattern here. 
and even having a outlet here. It's definitely cool stuff. But let's head over to the pirate ship as is and um, take a look at what we got so far. So I will be right back. All right. So we're back on the bucket server, and this is the current state of the pirate ship. Um, as you can see, we took bits and pieces of the various designs and incorporated them. Um, we took Crows's uh, new archway uh, for the front um, front sail, as well as the bow of the ship. Um, went ahead and changed the colors of the ship and added colors to the sail based off of the, the sarcasm lords. Um, added some, um, as well as these ropes from Crows's. I took the um, Crow's Nest, well, not the Crow's Nest design exactly, um, but I took the idea for the Crow's Nest um, and made some minor adjustments to make it fit a little bit better um, from NB Trainer, as well as the, the uh, our steering column. <laughs> I really like that. Um, Let's see what else. Going inside or onto the, the front of the ship, we took the stairwells and uh, the entranceways from Crows. Um, I have our captain's quarters back here, which, surprisingly enough, the spruce doors actually look like they're going to fit really well with the pirate ship. <laughs> um, we have our captain's quarters, which I nabbed uh, some of the stuff from MB Trainers. Um, I was debating on using some of the stuff up here from MB Trainers, but there's some modifications that we're going to do to the general area up here that we'll, uh, we'll wait to do some adjustments to that. Um, some personal touches that I added myself, um, I went ahead and raised um, the uh, floor one over on this side. Uh, there was a difference of one in scale between this one and right about here. It was this was this level and this from here to here was about one lower um, I decided to raise it up one to be flush all the way over this way that way we could have the same mirrored archway uh, archway over here and have quite a bit of space to be able to work with um, I also went ahead um, I changed the the mast to be this uh, spruce wood versus the uh, was it acacia wood that uh, Sarcasm Lord was using, in case you would, because I thought it, it looked better with the, uh, the ship. Definitely something we could change, possibly, um, if necessary, but we'll keep it for now. We also added these little flags um, on in the crow's nest and on the back of the ship. Um, and as you can see, we added color to this part right here. And the little... Um, Trapdoor windows we added from MB Trainers. So we took lots of little pieces from... Lots of little lots of big pieces from all of the builds and incorporated them into uh, the current ship design as is. I'm really happy with how it's going right now. <laughs> it definitely looks significantly better than it did before. And I think this uh, spruce... Or, sorry, dark oak yeah, mixed with the... Uh, the birch definitely makes for a good coloring combination. Um, but that's what we're going to go for for now for the colors. Um, but as always, if you have suggestions for colors that you think would be better, say you, you would think that blue and white sails would look better or a different color combination for the, uh, the ship would look better, don't forget to... Leave a suggestion, and uh, we'll uh, look into incorporating it, potentially. But the ship itself is already looking significantly better, and is you're able to run around the ship and get around easily without having to fly around, which is always pretty awesome. <laughs> and I really like the steering column. Uh, we'll see if we're going to change the, uh, the... Not the jukebox, I don't block there, but we'll keep it there for now. Um, so, I think the first things first, this, uh, this episode, and probably maybe a little bit of next episode, or next episode, we'll probably be doing some work on the pirate ship, the interiors of the pirate ship. Uh, so, we have a nice, nice assortment of room here. We have a decent-sized room here. 
Now the only problem is that we don't have any access to uh, this area in here. Just a big chunk of area that doesn't have any access. And I think... Um, oh, no. I think we might be good to open this bad boy up and add it as a kind of... Um, let's set that to air. Kind of as an extension of the captain's quarters. So you'll enter the quarters here. Um, and we can kind of curve this around over here as well. Uh, so something like... Oh, I don't know. Like this. This. Like that, maybe? And we could... Actually, let's bring this out one more. This will give us a little bit of extra room to run around. Uh, although I think having that is a three wide could be better. Let's leave it as a two wide for now. Could probably get away. No, that would be a little too thin. Let's leave it like that. So something like that. Oh, oh, oh. something like that could work. Uh, you know, what was it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, like that. Um, so, the idea was kind of opening up this upper area in order to have kind of extra space that we could work with for the captain's quarters. Um, and with that, we could probably have... Uh, so, this would be just an upper balcony looking down. Uh, maybe it, 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 Maybe having this sign out here might be better. No, no, no. Let's leave it in here. And we'll have to figure out how we're going to want to get the player up to there. Um, now, I know NB Trainer had a little staircase up like this. Uh, we could always do... Um, I hate to get rid of this. We could always move this to another location. Oh, but I hate to block the window, too. Some sacrifices maybe may, may have to be made. Um, okay, for now, let's just get some stairs. Um, so we got to think of what are kind of some of the kind of main components we want to get um, added to the pirate ship. I mean, what do we want to have in here as a whole? Okay, something like that could be good. I mean, we still have access to the windows. Um, we could throw some of these under here. Maybe go a little bit on the lines of like this. Oh, no. Dark oak. Or dark spruce. Dark spruce. No, dark oak. Yeah, something like that could work. And we go ahead and get ourselves a dark oak, oak like you. Okay, this gives us a little underside here. And even that gives us a little bit of space here for some hidden loot. I like that. Let's do this. There we go. Hidden loot right there. <laughs> I like it. Players curious enough to explore around. Okay, so this gives us a little stairwell up. And we have an extra area for the captain's quarters. Perfect, perfect. I'm liking that. So we have our little, let's do this, um, these oak, these are oak. We don't want to use oak. Um, we're using birch fences outside 
um, for the kind of the upper holding part for uh, not holding part the I guess the trim that surrounds the whole upper part of the ship um, I don't know what you would call that the railings there we go that might be better we're using um, birch for our railings on the ship uh, so I think having some type of consistency with that using birch uh, fences in here would probably work well too. And overall, it's just gonna look look better. So we do something like that. Have some fence like that. I think something like that will work well. So we got a hidden area back there. We have a nice staircase, which um, we could make that one wider. Let's try that. Let's go boop, boop. We'll do a move one. Um, and we'll do that. Yeah. Um, and then we can use the command stack one, stack one, which will copy it, move it over. Um, we didn't get this stacked into there though, but we can do that. And now an even more secret. For people who aren't paying attention, that will be harder to tell. But the people who explore around a bit will see that. I like it, I like it. Makes it more hidden and less visible. If you look, I mean, if you look at it like this, it doesn't... You might get a glimpse of something might be there, but if you're just coming in like this, kind of doesn't look like a whole lot. Perfect. Three wide isn't much better. It'll be more better suited, I think. Let's do this. There we go. Um, so as I was saying before, we're going to kind of think of what we want on our pirate ship, kind of general areas we want on here. Um, so captain's quarters is going to be one of them. Uh, we're also going to want a, I'm thinking of a prison, not like a, maybe not, it's not a prison. It would be technically a prison, but it would be, um, um, the cells, the ship, the ship's cells. So an area where, uh, any prisoners would be kept. We could potentially put some, uh, <laughs> some mobs or villagers within them. I think that would work well. Um... I'm not sure at the moment what else for our captain's quarters that we're going to want in here. Uh, the big thing was I wanted to add an upper area in here. The big thing is we're trying to get as much rooms and spaces and stuff within the area. So there's a lot for the player to explore. Um, even this kind of place right here, we could probably break up into a few different rooms and such. Uh, so we could have a main path in here. You know, we'd have some type of path in here, for example. Uh, the end of it leads to the captain's quarters. You know, we could break these off into a couple rooms each. To um, Let's find out where the middle is. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. Um, <laughs> I love when it's an odd number. That way I can split the rooms up evenly. So 19, so 18, 9, 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, So we could potentially split up the rooms like this. This gives us an extra four rooms for the player to explore. Um, and then, you know. Plop a door in the middle of them. Something right there. We plop a door. There. Alright, so we have ourselves four additional rooms. Um, we can always put some more windows into the sides here to give more uh, more lighting. Light, light room. Um... Yeah, 
right, something like that would be good. Um, so as I was saying, um, we'll probably have a cells area. We'll have the captain's quarters. Um, we got to figure out. Maybe if you guys have suggestions for types of rooms we could add into the pirate ship. Um, we still have to figure out how and where the player might be getting over to the other pirate ships. Um, also, to keep in mind, if we're going to keep the layout overall the same between pirate ships, um, I mean, we could potentially keep the upper parts layouts the same. Um, captain's quarters, extra rooms, you know, any rooms and stairwells in here that we might keep, uh, but we could always keep up here the same, but down here we could have um, unique branches uh, and unique placement for the stairwells, um, which, speaking of stairwells, um, I don't think we're going to have the same type of stairwell that we and NB Trainer had in his uh, I was thinking of something along the lines of, let's see, where's the center? Center point here. Uh, one, two, three. Um, we could always have it something like this, which we'll end up getting rid of that. But we could have something like either a one wide or a three wide. Uh, stairwell that comes down like this. Oh, not like that. That leads down to the next area. So, um, so we could have hmm, wide or three wide. That's something we could play with. But having a stairwell like this that will lead down to one, uh, next floor. Which, for now, let's stick with a three wide. And do, do, do. So we'd have some type of stairwell. Um, and even it could be potentially, um, we could use, if we want it to be a bit more gradual of a staircase, we could use uh, whole blocks and slabs to get down to the next floor. But in general, I think it's going to be more or less a basic stairwell, which let's try. Let's try with slabs and whole blocks instead. Um, we'll use birch whole blocks. And what kind of other block do I want to use? Maybe a stone slab? Let's say, let's say ye. All right. Something like that could potentially work. Though if it, I were to do it like that, I almost feel like we'd want a one wide. Let's just try it with one wide for now. Okay. Hmm. It might be a bit. Uh, you know, I don't know. It might work. And then we could have. I don't know. Walls right here. Hmm. I'll have to play around with it. Something like that could potentially work. Um, now, a question that comes to mind um, with the ship like this, um, which I wasn't sure entirely if I, how I wanted to go about building this for the series. Um, now, the question that comes to mind with something like this is, would you guys be more interested in seeing 
the full building of everything or kind of um, each episode we have some stuff built um, even for not necessarily for the whole thing for stuff like the pirate ship we have some stuff built we go over um, all of the stuff that was built since last time um, oh cave noises um, so for example let's say for the pirate ship let's say we built you know a few areas and then we went walked through and just talked about the various areas and what we added uh, maybe why if necessary um, um, for s structural stuff like this um, and maybe for terraform building like carving out areas and stuff we could potentially do a uh, sped up build of it um, I'm trying to think of good ways to get um, the map built in a quick fashion <laughs> and kind of show you guys the building of it at the same time. Um, kind of that was one of the big reasons why I didn't show the carving out of this cave because it took like an hour uh, for 45 minutes to an hour to carve out the cave and smooth it out to what I wanted, um, which would be fairly boring to watch in general. Um, um, but, you know, smaller little structures like this we could potentially build on screen, um, stuff like that. This stuff probably didn't need to be built on screen. Um, and stuff like the pirate ship, where we could potentially build, um, you know, put some work into it, like we did at least combining the stuff, and then talk about what we did. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good structure for this series, since this is the first time I've done it. And I don't want the series to go on super long. Um, but I still want you guys to be able to see what was done, how to do it, etc. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that. On how you how you guys would um, how, what would be most enjoyable for you guys in you know the creation of this map. Whether you want to see every single piece of construction from the map or whether you would like to see kind of you know talking about and recapping of you know say building components of the ship um and then we do stuff off screen between each episode um whether you want stuff like terraforming out caves and building of um or painting of the stuff to be done in say a time lapse kind of thing or not time lapse but a, a sped up montage um whether you want small structures like these to be built by hand on screen while i talk um i think that's an important thing to discuss first before we get too much further into the map as we are on episode like what seven six eight something like that and we still haven't really gotten a huge amount done uh, mostly because I've been waiting to do a lot of stuff on screen. Um, but I think that might be a good point to end the episode for now while we well, kind of we discuss what we how we want the series to work. Probably something I should have done prior to now, but I think it's now is a good time. Uh, there's also one good suggestion for food trades. Actually, there's two suggestions. One of them... I think it's a good idea that we'll incorporate now. The other one is we'll have to... I think we'll have to talk about it a bit more. the hell is it? I know you're here somewhere. Sugar cane. There was a suggestion for... Um, sugar, tra sugar cane trade for food. Um, so we could potentially do... Sugar cane for wheat kind of thing uh, because you know we can grow sugar cane um, and then something else for bread and then who knows what else for these we'll have to figure that out in due time probably once we get later into the map we can figure that stuff out my squeaky chair um, but I think it's a good a time as to stop for now and kind of get your guys' thoughts on how we want to structure the series definitely something we should have done earlier but let's let's get it done now since we didn't do it before um what do you guys think of how you guys would like to um see the building of the map 
and all the little components that we talked about. And I uh, please leave some feedback on that so I have a, a better idea of how to structure the series to make it more enjoyable. <laughs> because as it is right now, it um might not be the most enjoyable, but I definitely would like to make it more enjoyable. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Probably a little shorter than I would want, but definitely some important questions to be had. Um, but if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time.